Hey man, say man. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to slide in your ops using selection sort. In this video, we're gonna do a visual representation of what selection sort look like. Then we're gonna do the time complexity of selection sort. Then we're gonna end it off with writing the code for it. Now you're gonna waste your time. We're gonna get straight to it. So I'm gonna put you in this situation. So imagine you got the loads of all your ops in the unsorted list. You decide to slide in your ops while the list is unsorted. It might take all day. And you might get caught slipping. And one of your ops might slime you out. Don't want that. So we're going to sort the list using selection sort so you won't get switched cheese. You'll be able to visit all the closed houses and be able to get up out of there. Get out of there quick. Now we're going to start with the visual representation of selection sort. It's so easy. All we have to do is start at index zero and we're going to go through and find the smallest element in the list, the smallest number in the list. And when we find it, we're going to swap it into the index zero or the first spot in the list. So we find 2054 is the smallest number in the list. So we're going to move that to the front and we'll swap those two numbers. So boom, now you see it's green. That means it's in the right place. Now we're going to continue to do the same thing. Now we go to index one. Then we're going to find the next smallest number in the list on the right side. We can ignore the green numbers because it's already in the right place. It's 5,670. So boom, we're going to swap those. You just keep going down to index three, find the minimum element, then swap them. It's green, so it's good. Then we just keep on doing the same thing all the way to the end, and we have a sorted list. And now it's time to slide. Man, the time complexity for selection sort is so easy. It's a best case, average case, the worst case. It's all big over n squared. And if you know, you know, we get this because. We use a nested for loop to implement selection sort. That's a for loop inside of a for loop. So no, you know. So you remember that. It's the time we've been waiting for. We're going to implement the code and slide on the ops. Before we make our selection sort function, we make a swap function. And swap is going to swap two numbers. So void swap is going to take in n a and n b. You want to create a temporary variable and you're going to make it equal to a. So right now, temp is equal to a. Remember that. Then we're going to make a equal to b. So all right, a is now b. That means it's like, it's like halfway swapped. Now we're going to make b equal to temp, because remember, I said temp is equal to a. So now b is equal to a. It, that swapped to me. So yeah, light work. It's about that time. It's time to slide. Our selection sort function takes in an array. It's going to take in int n. And n is just the size of the array. And we start off the function with a for loop that runs from 0 to n minus 1. The reason we go up to n minus 1 instead of n is because by the time we reach the second to last iteration, last element will already be in the correct position. There's no need to do that extra iteration. Just cut it there. Next, we're going to create an integer called min index. We're going to store the index of the smallest number each iteration. Wait, pause. It's Arion from the future, and I got my time stone. I'm here to explain the next for loop to you. We got to do another for loop inside the first for loop. And as we go through this loop, we compare the current index to the min index. And if we find a smaller element, then we will update the min index to that number. You feel me? Finally, we can call the swap function to swap the smallest number found, min index. With the current index in the outer loop, I making sure that the smallest element moves to the correct spot. And so you put your ops addies at. We have n to get the size of addies. So we know how much ops we finna spin on. We're gonna call our selection sort function. You're gonna do a for loop to print out the ops houses in order so we can slide on them. Make sure you drop a like because I just saved you from getting slimed out from your ops. I saved you from getting hit with that Swiss cheese. Make sure you drop that like.